But hey, look at what we have here. We have Android Oreo with the Star Wars theme. In subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel and this is a video a lot of you guys have been requesting for a while now and I'm sorry that I delayed this one. At the same time, I've been missing for the last three days. I was traveling, not doing well, a lot of things happened but hey, we are back in action, the channel is back in action and all the OnePlus 5D awesomeness is back in action. So what we're going to look at today is getting the Star Wars theme on the OnePlus 5D. So that is what we're going to do. We will see if we can get it working or not and what are the downsides of getting Star Wars theme on the OnePlus 5T Oreo update, the stable one. So without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, let's begin this video. Alright guys, so there is a small bad news that I have here. I tried TWRP and I tried to flash the zip that can enable this particular star wars themes but it didn't work so the only option that we are left with is going back to nougat and then going back to 4.7.2 enabling the star wars theme and then updating to 5.0.3 stable oreo now what that is going to leave us with is going to leave us with a star wars theme with the official oreo update now remember this can be done on a locked and unlocked bootloader but the only downside to this is that you will lose all the data including your internal storage so i would highly highly recommend you to go ahead and back up back up back up all your information now before we begin let me just show you guys if you can see here there you go. So I'm on official Oreo 5.0.3, although I'm on a locked bootloader, but I'm on a stable ROM with the stock recovery. And what I have here, the first file that we're going to look at is the Oxygen OS O2N file, which is given by OnePlus themselves, which helps you to go to no good from Oreo. But then again, it requires a complete format. So the file has been copied in the internal memory of this particular phone. The link is there in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Uh, I've enabled the advanced reboot menu. So to do that, just press and hold the power button, reboot, recovery, and reboot again. So we're gonna go to recovery. We're gonna go, go ahead and flash this particular file. And once we have flashed to this particular file, what we will do next is we will go ahead and wipe everything and we will boot into the system. Once the phone has booted up, we will see what Oxygen OS version that is, irrespective of whatever version that is. If it is anything except 4.7.2, we will install 4.7.2. We will enable Star Wars theme using the code. So let me just zoom in here. There you go. So this is the stock recovery we have. We will go to English. Now, the first step to follow here is not to wipe anything at all. So we will click on install from internal storage and you see this particular file. Let me just show you guys. This one, O2N, OBT, etc, etc. So this is a file which takes you back to Nougat and that is what we're gonna flash right now. Okay, installing package, yes. So just give it a few minutes, it will take uh, maybe two or three minutes to go ahead and flash this particular update. And once the flashing is done, I will tell you what we need to do next. Now, the reason I'm making this video, although the process is so lengthy, a lot of you guys are requesting me to go ahead and uh, make a video on how to get the Star Wars theme on Oreo. Now, something that I don't know is that in future updates, say 8.1 or 9.0, will this theme continue to work? What I can say for sure is if you followed this particular process and updated to Oreo, the Star Wars theme will remain. 
and uh, everything will work as expected but what i cannot guarantee is if it will work in future updates or not so as you can see the package installation is almost complete there you go so once it says install success reboot or okay sorry reboot or yes just tap on yes don't reboot yet wipe data and cache and then choose erase everything music pics etc now before you do this actually you are at the point of no return but then again this will erase everything including your internal memory it says this cannot be undone continue yes so essentially this should take us back to android nougat so the wipe is done and we will go ahead and reboot so let's reboot i think this takes us back to 4.7.4 or 4.7.5 uh, which is no good to us because to run that particular code we need to be on 4.7.2 So I still don't have the theme here. It just says dark, light and default. So I'm going to change it to dark so that you guys can see it clearly. Okay, there we go. So um, let's go to about. So this is 4.7.5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly connect my phone to the computer and I'm going to copy 4.7.2. All right, so we've just finished copying 4.7.2 and now we're going to go for a downgrade. So to do that, we will go to settings, system updates, tap the gear icon at the top right hand corner, choose local upgrade. And this is the 4.7.2 zip. We will select that and select upgrade now. Now, once you do that, it will start flashing the update and you just have to patiently wait for it to go ahead and complete the update. We are back to 4.7.2. Let's go ahead and verify that. Let's go to settings. Let's go to about. Uh, yes, so we are at 4.7.2. Now, the moment of truth. So go to the dialer. Star hash star hash 9339 hash star hash star and then we will just go ahead and reboot the phone let's see if that works okay so let's go to settings display theme there you go so you have the star wars theme available now there you go changing theme Bam. that's your Star Wars theme and even if you go to say wallpapers there you go you have the Star Wars wallpapers available so your OnePlus 5T is now back to a Star Wars OnePlus 5T now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna update to Oxygen OS 5.0.3 and we're gonna check if it still works or not now this OT update is around 1.3 gigabytes, so it will take a while to download. What I'm going to do is I have it handy. So I'm just going to copy it to the phone's internal memory and then I'll update it using the local storage method. 4.7.2, we have the Star Wars theme enabled. You just saw the procedure for that. Now I'm going to upgrade to 5.0.3. So we will tap the gear icon. local upgrade select the 5.0.3 zip and upgrade now so similar process it will take about two to five minutes to upgrade i will see you guys after the update is complete okay looks like the audio update is complete and it is booting up for the first time we did not wipe anything or we did not make any changes 
And there is a procedure to disable the Star Wars theme, but I would not be covering that because that is again gonna be too lengthy. But hey, look at what we have here. We have Android Audio with the Star Wars theme enabled. And if you don't believe me, no updates available about phone. Let me just zoom in there. There you go. So we have Oxygen OS 5.0.3 and we have the Star Wars theme available. So that was the procedure guys to go ahead and activate the Star Wars theme on the OnePlus 5T audio update. Now, this is a complete step-by-step -step process and it takes a lot of effort to get these videos done. So if you like what you see, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as you guys know, if this channel makes it to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February 2018, I will be giving away a brand new Xiaomi Redmi 5A.